Hey what is up everyone this is Abhishek from Motion Nations and in this video we are going to take a look how to create a minimal title or logo reveal animation in After Effects. So before I jump right into After Effects I want you to please subscribe to my channel and please support me on patreon.com the link is in the description below. All right, now we are in After Effects, so let's create a new composition. Let's call this animation and make sure the width and height are 1920 by 1080, frame rate 30 fps, and duration 10 seconds. Just click on OK. So I'm using my script Quick New to create solid text or any other layer. So you can do that by simply going to Layer New, and here are all the options. So you can, or you can download this free script. The link for that is in the description below. So let's create a new solid and let me just fit it to 100% and make sure the color is something like this white color and let's enable the grids so that we can draw some shapes so select the pen tool and now we are going to draw a line so let's just simply click over here and then move your point to this place so that we have a line like this now we are going to disable the grid for now and let's just add some stroke to it so we can go with maybe 1% or 2 so 2 looks good for now and let's just select it and move it to the center of this composition so I'm using the arrow keys something like this so that it's in the center of this composition now let's just simply select the there and let's rename it to line and duplicate it by pressing ctrl d then press r on the keyboard for rotation and let's rotate it by 90 degree so that we have this x mark in the center of this composition now we are going to add trim path to this layer so let's go to add and add some trim path and let's change the end to zero and let's animate it so that it starts from 0 and then goes to 100 select the keyframes press f9 to ease them then go to the graph editor and let's tweak the curves little bit now we have this kind of really smooth line animation now just select the trim path 1 then press ctrl plus c to copy it and then on the layer 2 press ctrl plus v to paste it so that we have the animations on both the layers now let's just zoom out a bit and we are going to create a circle so let's select this uh, ellipse tool and let's create a circle something like this make sure the fill is set to none and also let's scale it up so that it meets the edges of these lines something like this so this looks good for now and let's zoom out then again we have copied the trim line so I'm going to just ctrl plus V to paste it so that we have this kind of animation and right now it's looking really nice so let's just rename it quickly to circle and we are going to create a new composition for our title so let's call this title slash logo so rest of the things will remain same and over here we can type our text so let's type you can type anything you want so I'm going with this design type okay let me just adjust that and just place it in the center of this composition something like this you can maybe move the anchor point in the center if you want then go back and drag your title into this composition so now let's apply a fill effect to it so let's search for fill and apply it on this layer and let's set its color to dark gray and now let's just scale it down a little bit or you can go into the title composition and let's press s key for scale and let's just scale it down something like this maybe a little bit more let's go with 75 and so this looks good for now now we are going to create another shape layer which is this rectangle tool and just simply create a rectangle something like this for this one let's move the anchor point in the center and also align it like this and we want fill effect 
on it so let's select the same color as the background and we do not want any kind of stroke on it and let's just call this rectangle and just place it below the title layer and now we are going to animate the rectangle so instead of scale property we are going to use the rectangle size property which is under the content option and let's create a keyframe for that so in the beginning we want our animation to be start like really thin so let's make it zero and here you can see that the rectangle is animating so we can add some easing to it kind of like this and if I play back here you can see that we have this animation so maybe we can offset the rectangle so that this animation will happen afterwards something like this um, maybe you can tweak the size little bit so let's increase the y amount little bit something like this and you can increase the x amount to all the way to the edges so in case you have a longer text just like that so this is looking really nice now all we have to do is animate the text so for that we are going to create a shape layer and let's create the shape by clicking over this point and then go to this place then click on here and let's just create some shape like this we are going to call this mask and let's just select the pen anchor tool and move it over here something like this maybe and we are going to duplicate it by pressing ctrl d then press r for rotation and let's set it to 180 degree so that we have a complete opposite rect shape layer of it and now let's just duplicate our title something like this and for the below one let's set it to alpha mask and also the second one let's set it to alpha mat and now as you can see that we have our title so let's just animate it by selecting both of the title layer then press p on the keyboard for position and let's just in the beginning let's move the title so just select it and then you can use the arrow keys for precise movement something like this and let's move it really high something like this so that it is completely disappeared and let's just do that with this one also so just select it and move it a little bit further apart so that it is not visible and let's just select both of the keyframes press f9 to ease them then in the graph editor we can add some easing to it something like this so if i play back here you can see that our text is now appearing maybe we can add a little bit of more easing like this so this looks nice for now and let's just fit it to 100 so let's just disable this and here we have the basic animation so maybe we can move them further parts like this so that it appears really fast so let's just play around with the position of the keyframes so this looks really nice maybe a little bit further so this is looking nice now let's just trim all these layers thing like this and now we have the basic animation so let's create the bigger circle and lines so all you have to do is just simply select all the three layers then press ctrl d to duplicate them then place them at the bottom so let's just quickly change their color to maybe purple and then select all the layers so first let's go with the scale and let's increase the scale to something like this and maybe we can lower down the strokes so let's go with 0.5 maybe and i think 0.5 looks good also with the lines let's select them then press s on the keyboard for scale and let's just increase their value and also let's change their stroke width 
25 also and if i play back here you can see that we have this animation now we have to add another shape layer so that we can hide these layers these lines and the bigger circle so how we are going to do is by simply creating a ellipse tool uh, by simply selecting the ellipse tool and creating a circle something like this let's place it in the center of this composition and quickly animate the scale so we want it to start from zero and then it will grow like this maybe we can lower the thresh stroke to zero so let's easy is the keyframes play around with the graph editor something like this and so this looks nice now just place it below the these layers and so if i play back here you can see that the logo is revealing and after that these lines are like shrinking so we are almost done with the animation now let's create another composition and let's call this camera and let's just drag our animation composition over here and let's create a camera so we, you can go into layers new create camera or you can use my script so let's just quickly do that and make sure the animation composition is 3d and let's go inside this composition and select the all layers by pressing ctrl a then make sure they are 3d as well now let's just click on this collapse transformation button so that we have this animation now let's do one more thing uh, from here from this composition let's just delete the solid black solid layer or we can cut it out then paste it over here in the background and make sure that this layer is not 3d now let's just select the camera and you can scroll down to transformation let's just add keyframe for all the properties and move them further apart so in the beginning we want our camera to have little bit uh, lower angle something like this and maybe we can zoom in a little bit so if i play back here you can see that now the camera is animating so we can just simply select the keyframes which are animating so press f9 to easy ease them then play around with the curves and we can create some really nice easing something like this so let's just go out of this graph editor and we can select the keyframes and move them in in the beginning so select all the other keyframes we do not need them so just press delete to delete them and here you can see that we have this animation maybe we can move this further apart something like this so here you can see that the animation is happening so now let's add some lens blur to it so select the camera layer then press a twice so that it will open up the camera options now enable the depth of field and here we are going to add a keyframe for the focus and aperture so before that let's crank up the aperture to maybe like 200 so that or maybe 300 so that nothing is visible now let's just simply lower the focus or change the focus distance so that it starts to be in focus and everything clears up so let's just type 1000 over here and here you can see that now we have this really sharp in the middle and we have this soft edges at the corners so let's just animate the focus distance so when the animation stops over here let's just increase the focus distance so let's just zoom in and check out this so maybe 1300 so here you can see that now it's it is in focus maybe we can go a little bit higher maybe 1400 so i think 1350 no 1300 is good now let's just add a keyframe for the aperture so in the beginning we want our aperture to be really high so something like 300 and when the animation ends we can crank it down to zero select the keyframes you can easy ease them just select the layer press u to match these keyframes and if i play back here you can see that we have the animation happening and also the focus is shifting as well as the aperture value is 
decreasing so that everything will come in focus here you can see that our animation is happening maybe we can move the aperture a little bit further like this you can maybe lower down the resolution to quarter to just really look the animation so I think this is looking really nice and let's just change it to half now the best thing about this animation is that it is completely procedural so you can change the text or add any logo to it so if I want to type anything else so if I type animation over here and go back to the camera layer here you can see that the text is now changed and we have this animation now you can also add your logo into this animation so all you have to do is just simply drag your logo you can just drag it over here maybe scale it down something like this let's just disable our text and we can position it in the center of this composition and if i go back here you can see that your logo is appearing and maybe you can scale it down a little bit something like this and you can also play around with other settings so for example if you want to crank up the height of this rectangle so you can just simply select it and then change the scale value to maybe like this so that the logo is completely visible and also you can disable the fill if you want to add some colors to your logo and here you can see that we have this really nice and minimal logo animation maybe you can enable the color so that it matches the whole composition so this is how you guys can create some really nice and minimal title or logo animations in after effects so if you guys learned something in this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and that's it for this video this is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one